Welcome to the Orchard Combat Training Center, one of the premier military training sites in the nation. The training you receive here is designed to build combat readiness in order to protect and defend our nation's interests, both at home and throughout the world. One of those critical national interests and one of my highest priorities is the preservation of our environment, the soil, the plants, the wildlife, and the cultural sites that are located throughout the training area. This training area lies entirely within the Morley Nelson Snake River Birds of Prey National Conservation Area. And we're fortunate to have strong partnerships with the Bureau of Land Management, the Idaho Department of Lands, the Native American tribes, and the public in general. In order to continue to enjoy this world-class training area, now and into the future, it is imperative that we be the best stewards possible. I consider this a command responsibility and hold all leaders accountable for upholding the standards of environmental compliance. The training you receive here should be demanding and challenging in order to prepare you and your units for combat operations. Always watch out for one another and always conduct yourself in a safe and professional manner. So enjoy your time here in the Orchard Combat Training Center. Take advantage of this great training opportunity, and thank you for your patriotic service to our nation. The Orchard Combat Training Center has a long history. The Army Air Corps began using the land before World War II to train bomber crews, and operations have continued up to the present, training units in support of many missions at home and abroad. The OCTC became the Idaho Army National Guard's permanent training area in 1953. Although the Bureau of Land Management retains ownership of the land and manages most activities, the Idaho Army National Guard manages all military operations within the OCTC. The Idaho Army National Guard works hand in hand with the Bureau of Land Management to protect and preserve all aspects of the OCTC's land, including research, public recreation, grazing, and military training. The OCTC is an important resource for many stakeholders. In this video series, we'll talk about the important role you play in supporting our efforts to preserve this resource. To help you understand your duties, each module includes three sections. One, what you will see. Two, why it matters. And three, what you can do to help. To the typical visitor, this land may not look like much, but lots of creatures call this place home. The training area lays completely within the Morley Nelson Snake River Birds of Prey National Conservation Area. This means you may see many birds of prey during your training, falcons, hawks, owls, eagles, and more. There are lots of other creatures that call this land home, some not so dangerous and some that can cause serious injury. During your training, you may encounter a large variety of animals such as rodents, rabbits, pronghorn, and badgers. Seasonal cattle and sheep grazing also occurs on our ranges. You'll definitely want to be aware of the numerous snakes, scorpions, and spiders that live in the area. Most are harmless, but still deserve some distance. Animals are not the only things protected in the OCTC. Slick spot peppergrass, a plant species protected under the Endangered Species Act, is found within the OCTC's boundaries. Playas are homes for other sensitive plant species and are off-limits in the OCTC, as is dense brush. Harming the wildlife or disturbing sites outside designated areas can impact our ability to conduct military training in the OCTC. Even the more dangerous creatures are part of the landscape and should not be disturbed. If you see any wildlife within the training area, leave them alone. If you come across an injured or distressed creature, do not approach it. Contact range control immediately. Do not approach or handle any animals for any reason and maintain situational awareness. Watch your step as some badger holes may be occupied. Snakes, scorpions, and spiders are abundant. They won't kill you, but they can cause painful injuries. Protected areas must be avoided to ensure military training does not impact sensitive species. Damage to protected areas must be reported immediately to range control. 
Now that you've got a sense of what wildlife and habitat you'll see, let's review. You'll see birds, spiders, snakes, scorpions, badgers, and other animals. Protected playas are scattered throughout the training area. It matters because these animals and their habitat are protected by Congress, the agreement with the Bureau of Land Management, and by Idaho Army National Guard policies and regulations. You can help by steering clear of all these creatures and protected areas, and pay particular attention to the badgers and snakes, which can cause injury and delay training. Report injured or problem wildlife and damaged protected areas to range control immediately at 208-272-4444. In this module, we're going to discuss environmental issues related to health and safety. We want to make sure you're aware of some of the serious illnesses and dangers in the OCTC. Two illnesses can be found in the Orchard Combat Training Center, Hantavirus and Black Plague. Both are associated with rodents. People become infected with Hantavirus through contact with infected rodents or inhalation of their dried urine and droppings. The plague is contracted through the bite of fleas found mostly on rodents, although it can be transmitted to other mammals. Rodents are common throughout the OCTC and can inhabit some training facilities. If a member of your team is exposed to hantavirus, they will likely have flu-like symptoms that include headache, dizziness, chills, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, coughing, shortness of breath, and difficulty breathing. Black Plague shares many hantavirus symptoms, as well as swollen, tender lumps in the lymph nodes. It is important to recognize these symptoms and understand how to avoid these illnesses. Hantavirus symptoms may develop between one and eight weeks after exposure. Black Plague symptoms appear one to six days after exposure. If you develop these symptoms, seek medical attention immediately. Be sure to tell your doctor you may have been exposed to hantavirus or Black Plague. To help us keep you safe, first, avoid both live and dead animals. Second, use personal insect spray that contains DEET to fend off fleas. And finally, if you or a member of your team shows any signs of illness, seek medical attention as quickly as possible. Let's recap. You will see rodents and mammals that may be infected with hantavirus or black plague. It matters because infected animals can transmit diseases to you through their feces, urine, and flea bites. And here's how you can help. Avoid these creatures, use insect spray, do not sweep buildings, and seek medical attention immediately if you or a member of your team shows any signs of illness. Not only is the OCTC rich in natural resources, it is also rich in cultural resources. Native Americans have utilized the area for more than 10,000 years. 160 years ago, trails associated with the Oregon Trail passed through the training center, and sheep herders and ranchers have used the area since the turn of the century. The OCTC was used to train bombardiers and bomber crews during World War II, including the actor Jimmy Stewart. Cultural artifacts like Native American pottery shards, projectile points, and even early pioneer and World War II artifacts can be found here. Some, like World War II bomb fragments and sea ration containers, may not look like much, but are protected. Rock cairns can be seen on many hilltops and should not be disturbed. Cultural artifacts and sites are protected under the Archaeological Resources Protection Act of 1979. Anyone who removes an artifact or damages a cultural site can face up to a $100,000 fine, plus up to five years in prison. The cost of the restoration of a disturbed site can also be charged, and you may be subject to military prosecution by your command. Here are some actions you can take during training to protect the valuable history here. During training, always know and avoid protected areas. Read and obey posted signs and maneuver only in designated areas. Don't disturb any artifacts. And lastly, report any accidental violations and any sightings of artifacts to range control immediately. Now let's review what we've learned. You may see 
cultural artifacts, including World War II and early pioneer objects, rock cairns, pottery shards, and obsidian points. It matters because disturbing, damaging, or collecting artifacts can result in civil and criminal prosecution under the Archaeological Resources Protection Act of 1979, as well as military prosecution by your command. You can help by knowing and avoiding protected sites, following all rules and signs in the training area, and if you see an artifact or accidentally disturb a site, contact Range Control at 208-272-4444. Here at the OCTC, we work to ensure a safe and effective training environment, but sometimes things don't go as planned. Remember, while training at the OCTC, you have a responsibility to do what you can to help preserve the area. That includes reporting incidents to range control. This land is publicly owned. Illegal dumping sometimes occurs and can include materials such as hazardous waste, animal carcasses, debris, and items containing mercury. Areas of the OCTC are also popular for recreational shooting. Illegal dumping and recreational shooting can pose a safety concern to training units and can impact training events. Sometimes spills from refueling operations, mechanical failures, or other accidental releases occur. Regardless of the size, if a spill occurs, report it to range control immediately. Units are responsible for cleaning up spills on the OCTC under the supervision of the Environmental Management Office. Units are responsible for any excavation and disposal costs related to their spills. Reporting spills immediately helps us resolve the situation quickly so you can continue training. Also, be mindful of fires. The OCTC has certain invasive plants such as cheatgrass, tumble mustard, burr buttercup, and Russian thistle that can make the training center prone to fires, especially during hot, dry seasons. Fires can quickly get out of control. While some fires are sparked by military training, others are naturally occurring. Regardless of a fire's origin, downrange training will halt until the fire is out. You can optimize your training time with quick reporting when situations occur. Contact range control immediately when the public's use of the land conflicts with your training event. Report spills to range control, regardless of type or size. Spill response will be coordinated immediately and you will be able to get back to training. Report fires to range control at the first sign. OCTC has a dedicated fire department that will respond. Don't delay reporting as fires grow fast and large fires can impact your training time by hours. Now let's review. You will see illegal dumping of trash, animal carcasses, and sometimes dangerous items. Your unit may have an accidental spill, and you may see a range fire during your training. It matters because incidents like fires, spills, and civilian activities can result in a loss of training time and may pose safety risks. You can help by reporting incidents immediately to range control at 208-272-4444. Your quick actions can ensure you get quality training time and will help us preserve the OCTC. In this video series, we've covered conservation and natural resources, environmental safety, cultural resources, and incidents to report. The Orchard Combat Training Center is public land and is used by military personnel as well as civilians. It is home to many plants and animals, their habitats, and important cultural sites. The Idaho Army National Guard is committed to preserving this unique training area while providing a meaningful and productive training environment. It's up to you to put what you've learned in these modules into practice and protect the future of this training area.